Callie, many congratulations. Okay. Winning star on your World Championship debut. You must be really happy with that. Yeah. Take the win. It wasn't, wasn't pretty, wasn't class, wasn't good, wasn't, it was a battle. Um, not proud of the win as in the way I played, but I saw that it win. Um, to me, that's the most important thing. I've got a long way to push up for it because if I play bad against the Vincent at the moment, I'll be down the road. So I need to play a little bit on that. I felt good, played poor. Maybe I can evolve too much in the crowd, maybe going towards the stage, maybe just an experience that level. But I won. I'm chuffed to back to win. Got it how I played because I haven't played it quite decent recently. It's a w. One of the main positives for you has got to be your finishing there. 10 out of 19 on the doubles, 137. So that's it. that's impressive, 53%. Yeah, well that's quite deceiving though because usually my score and my strong point yeah. and, and my finishing weak point. So that just shows you like, I, I, I don't know how to explain that generally. I, I'm a scorer and I guess I started after the first set scoring well and then had so many six triples visits and I'm, I'm not, I feel like I've got a lot more to give. If I finish it, I'll be happy, but I've got my score using my strong points, so hopefully I can um, raise it from the uh, first day if I don't, I'll be back to work on the Friday. <laughs> and you mentioned you've been playing well recently. Last month in Minehead beat Josh Rock, one of the stars of the game, also pushed Marco Van Gogh in really close, so you must be coming in confident. Yeah, if, against Van, um, obviously Van Gogh, you kind of get a free hat kind of thing, because he's obviously a, a man, he's also, I know he's just thought, Number three in the world, but he's obviously feeling for this for a reason. He's obviously the man on form this year. Free hit against him against Josh. I felt like I was on like, nothing to fear, nothing to lose. Um, scored well, so I say I'm a scorer, and usually it gives me chances. But for some reason today, my score was not great. I don't know if just need to explain something. I'm quite gutted tomorrow. I'm actually quite devastated the way I scored because I felt alright. It just maybe just an experience, but I won so. Um, who cares if I played just a bit of win? And, and, and tomorrow I'll go home winning. Well, that's what I want to do. Well, that's what I want to do. I want to win the win. Win and you alluded to it earlier, Vincent Van der Voort up next for you. Yeah. Two of the quickest players in the game. If you both get going, it'll be fireworks. <laughs> well, ho ho hopefully, the two is going He obviously is a very good player, Vincent. He's been kicking about for God knows how long. I've watched him video when I'd hear at one point, but um, he's obviously been kicking it for years. Hopefully, um, the two score well in a very good game. If the two is playing well, it'll be a very good for the, for the crowd and stuff. So I'm not forward to Thursday because I've got um, a mate coming down on Thursday because obviously the trains and stuff, I couldn't get family down and stuff in the Scottish and stuff. So I've got a mate coming down who is looking forward to the experience as a dark player. And yeah, I'm, I'm glad this. So I need to follow up the boss tomorrow and ask for Thursday Friday off. But he did know about this, so I'm quite lucky. So yeah, I won the first game. I, I, I won a game. I'm, I'm chuffed with that. Was it good? Not pretty, but it's all about the win. And I'm, I've got to take the point of that bad situation. Okay, well, yeah. congratulations. Thanks, Tom. What was it like at the top of the walk on, walking on and that stage looking out over Ali Pali? It, it was weird because I've been on that stage years ago. Many years ago, they've done a, a, a thing. If you won, they give me your tickets. I've played that stage before when it was empty. I walked out when it was empty. But it's not the same. It's not the same. Like, it's, it's, when it's empty, it feels fine. But that, that's, that's what teams are made of. Like, I've been lucky after playing like say, and stuff. And I also thought like, say, was my thing. The, the, the PDC are just making. Everybody who plays PDC nowadays can make a life out of it. Kind of thing. And that, that was, to win my first game as a debut, I wasn't pretty, but to win was a massive thing for me. And chuffs, like, I've got to take the best of the bad thing. I know it wasn't great, but maybe that was because of my experience at this level. But I won, uh, I'm, I'm happy, and I'm sure my family's proud, and I'm proud, and we've got proud. And I won a game at Alec Pally, and nobody can take that away from me. You did it too earlier. Your last three games on TV, we've seen the good, the bad, the ugly, the indifferent. We've seen the whole mix of it. Between now and when you play Vincent, how can you mould all of that into seeing the cameraman's A game that we know is there? I'll be, I'll, 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 maybe we'll travel home tomorrow. I'll have a couple of hours in the boat tomorrow. Back to work Monday for three days. I'll just practice. And, and I don't think I can ever actually change that, if that makes sense. I don't know how to be more consistent. I'll just practice and just hope for the best. I know I've got an A game. But I'm not going to see a game, I'm not going to be a game, I'm, I'm up and down. Just need to practice and play, and hopefully, when it comes to the first day, I play a new game. If I don't play a new game, I'm out. Well, simple as that. Touching on that, you said you haven't got those other games. Is it a matter of managing your emotions then and not beating yourself up when they're not going properly? Mm. 
I wish I could actually be less emotional and be sensible. But for instance, when I played Josh Rock, I was in the zone. When I played Van Gaal, I got caught in the hype a wee bit. Because it's Van Gaal to me, it's a bit surreal playing these guys on stage. So I sometimes get involved with the crowd and stuff. So maybe that's going to be a bit of an experience at my level. I do believe if I want to become a top player, I need to learn how to deal with those consequences and like, push forward and be more sensible. Kind of thing. You see, sometimes I get involved with the crowd. I don't mean to, but it's just because I don't. It feels weird being here since I've played darts as a young boy. This is my dream, so I'm very lucky to be here. And sometimes I need to realise that I deserve to be here. See, they thinking I'm lucky to be here, and hopefully in the future I can. Be more sensible, be more focused, and don't get involved with the crowd. But it's easier said than done when you've you've watched this for since you're 10, 12, 13 years old. I'm, it's a dream for me. This playing here at Alipa, like I've, I, I wish I can, I wish I can explain to people how it feels. I played football, I've, 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 I've worked, but this is my dream. Then, same as a lot of people, this is the dream. Cammy, you mentioned the emotions there. Do you know? how to play any other way, or is that just how you do it? I'd love to walk up and be calm, but I generally would love to walk up with, I'm also, Steve Beaton's my hero. Like, mm. I, I, I'm also my hero, going back donkeys. But the way Steve Beaton is, I'd love to be monotonous and just don't care. But honestly, my life would be so much easier, but I think I play on the edge. I generally think I need a bit of emotion, I need a bit of a, a fight, adrenaline, and I play my game a bit. As I say, social media is not a nice place and some folk dislike that, but I've learned over the years just to do just the bother. I play on the edge, I know that myself, but I just I'm quite gutted how I played. I feel quite honestly, I, I'm quite surreal because I, I wanted to win so much, but yeah, I feel a bit, mm. bit flat because I felt like I had so much more to give. How does the experience and the emotion compare to, oh, to Lakeside last year? Right. Um, oh, right. Lakeside's good, but Lakeside that was here was good in the semi-final. Mm. In the quarter final, the first couple of rounds was quite quiet, but I've played the European tours. The European tours, apart from the travel, the European tours are amazing. Like, honestly, the experience is second to none, apart from when you've got to travel four or five, ten hours, whatever that is. But the experience in these European tours is second to none. Yeah. And it, it's pretty much the same as what, what, what tonight was. And then the main head, the mental, like 5,000 people, I think, and generally mm -hmm. just get lost. So, yeah, go back to work Monday. Fixing block toilets and then doing this on the side is. You know, I'm, a very, I'm a very, very lucky person to be honest. And I'm, I'm living the dream slowly. Hopefully one day I can put the tools away and take this whole thing. Okay. Cheers, Cam. Uh, Cam, yes. uh, you're one of the few players who did play in two World Championships now this year and made it past the first round. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the World Championships went in with some confidence, but also that kind of. From having seen you, it went out the window quite quickly because yeah. it is still a world championship either yeah. way. Uh, as you go into the Alexander Palace, what <laughs> what kind of learnings have you brought from this year with you today? The, 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 see, the European tours in the PDC get some. It, it's it's one of the best things you can do. Like if you can play, it was the Grand Slam and stuff, or the Players Championship. These are great things to play on. But the European tour, out with the travel, sometimes is one of the best things you ever experience. Like this is. There's 3,000 Germans, Belgium, Dutch, whatever it is, and these, these crowds and atmosphere, like you, you, I wish I could bottle and sell it because I'd make a fortune. I've not played a lot of them, but every time I've, I've played in a few, like I've played counties, I've played internationals, I've played like say, the, the, the European tours, like it's, it's, it makes you, like, for instance, the day I actually felt good, I didn't play well, but I generally felt, it felt like a European tour, if that makes sense, because these are amazing, these European tours, these are, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's a, 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 um, a thing I wish I could bought on sale. My mate's coming down on Thursday now, I'm quite glad I won, because he couldn't get down this weekend because of strikes, he can make Thursday, so it was a, he buzzing, but like he is actually buzzing to come down here, like he, he, he's, got a, he's a semi-professional footballer, he's, he's buzzing, so I wish, I'd take him, come to European tours, like European tours are amazing, but the PDC is life now, like you look at, the, the future for uh, everybody. There's the woman that's now is climbing, climbing up. There's like Paul, Lisa, there's, there's others out there that that's nowadays is, is mental. Like, mm -hmm. I've got guys at work I don't even know if one of me text me good luck because they're not playing darts. It's just darts is a massive thing now. And also Christmas is darts to me because I've, I've practiced when the darts was on. It's, it's weird to be here. They said they're sitting in the house watching it, so I'm. I'm Glad I won, but yeah, I need to get 
Joppa. <laughs> How do you?